uh, welcome to another episode of uh, neighborhood tour so Charlie today a day a day Bristol a day uh, Bristol uh, Bristol is uh, is in the north north Somerset of England so today uh, the weather is shining I think it's about 24 degrees Celsius so I just came out today to see if I could show you guys uh, this beautiful uh, city of Bristol if you want to cross uh, this water so let me get there close quickly um, yeah before the boats uh, uh, depart so I think I managed to get to the boat on time uh, so this is where we're going uh, we're trying to uh, get across uh, to I mean uh, closer to the SS Great Britain so the boat is just departing at the moment uh, so hopefully we can uh, get a little bit closer to SS uh, Great Britain. Uh, this is where we're departing from. It's a beautiful place. Right, that's where we are. So let me turn the camera a little bit so I can see uh, how beautiful Bristol uh, looks like on the boat. It's a beautiful view, right? Amazing. Beautiful. It's just about a minute uh, boat ride, but it's worth doing uh, when you're in Bristol. So, yeah, I'll uh, be here uh, by SS uh, Great Britain. Let's get closer. Let's see how much it is to get in. Uh, hopefully, I can get you closer to. Uh, this beautiful, this iconic uh, boat. Right. So at the moment, I'm just heading out to see how close we can get to the SS Great Britain. I believe the entrance is at the other side and uh, hopefully I can show you um, how much uh, it costs to get in and also if you decide to come here, you'll have an idea uh, what it's like and what you need to do whether you're required to wear a mask or not so let me get you a little bit closer to the bridge I mean to the boat so that I can uh, read the history of this beautiful this iconic uh, boat You have to pre book. Okay. No. How much is this? It's 18 pounds for the ticket, but it's a, a year of subscription. Oh. Every day for a year or two. <laughs> it's very important this year. Nationally, our anniversary was cancelled. Oh, wow. And there were all the light shows, fireworks displays, all that kind of thing. Oh. And that's going to happen this year, hopefully. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. How much is it to get in? It's eighteen pounds. Yeah. The ticket lasts you the whole year. Okay. So you can come back as many times as you like. All right. Yeah. Can I, would you like to pop in? Yeah, I think I so. I think we have enough room at the moment. Oh, amazing. Fabulous. Yeah, because we we're only allowed a certain amount of people in an hour. Okay. Um, but you've you've come at a good time. <laughs> Thank you. So. 
lucky me. Yeah. <laughs> Are you just visiting Bristol? Are you from here? I'm from Poison, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so okay. I do visit uh, Bristol a lot because I do a bit of vlogging. Oh, so nice. I thought, why not show people this beautiful boat? Yeah, it's boat. stunning. Yeah. It's such a beautiful ship. We'll Thank you. It. It's like a good day for us. Exactly. And it's the good. view from the top today is yeah. spectacular. Oh. Lucky me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so just to let you know, we're about here at the moment. Yep. So much to see. So you've got the Dockyard Museum over here that leads you on board the ship. Yep. All of the ship to see. Yep. You've got Bean Brunel, the dock offices, and the dry dock, which is the underside section, sort of the hull of okay. the ship. Um, it will take maybe two or three hours, maybe even longer. Um, if I'll you don't have time, don't worry, you can always come back. <laughs> no no problem. problem. So, if you head on in here, speak yeah. with my colleague yeah. behind the counter, he'll be able to help you. They'll just need your name okay. uh, and a telephone number for track and trace. Okay. Hand sanitizers everywhere. Okay. And you know, you know the deal with face masks, just in the doors if that's okay. All right. um, you're welcome to take it up outside. Cheers. All right, have a lovely day. Me you too, thank you. All right, so let me use my track and trace. So that's what we're going to do. You have to make sure you abide to the government laws. So here is my track and trace. I'm going to check in. You can see that I've checked in, right? I've checked in, right? So this is where we're going to get to, to pay. So. Yes, you probably see me here a lot. <laughs> Two kids. All right. So there are your receipts. Thank you. Ready if you follow the arrows of the floor down to my colleagues. Thank you. This is the TK. Thank you very much. That's it, yeah? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Easy as that. Yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Right. So guys, uh, uh, so we are just in inside the beautiful boat, the beautiful ship. The ship that changed the world right so let me let me uh, pause the camera a little bit so that I can uh, put my ticket away All right weather is really really hot today and at the moment I'm just uh, uh, enjoying uh, that, uh, this breathtaking view and uh, if you enjoy what I'm doing uh, especially today exploring this uh, beautiful tour uh, please take the moment and give me the thumb up and also uh, do uh, hit the subscribe button because you uh, hitting the subscribe button you're helping me a lot uh, to ask me to do more uh, great content like this yeah so let me let me move the camera to the other side so that you can see the other side of uh, this uh, beautiful I've been here for uh, I've been living in Bristol for long but this is my first time you know 
you know, I actually uh, pay that money to get in here because, you know, I always uh, wonder why they charge so much, but it's the history. And, you know, look, things like this is it's pretty amazing. It's the first ship ever uh, transport people to New York. So it's pretty amazing boat. So let's, uh, let me turn the camera a little bit so I can uh, uh, see me exploring uh, this boat. And uh, if you decide to come, why not? Uh, just explore like um, I'm exploring myself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some selfies, uh, you know, on my Instagram. So the view from here is pretty amazing. Let me show you the, the view from here. Look, that's the type of view you get. Yeah? It's pretty amazing. continue uh, this tour uh, let's uh, have uh, about a few minutes before my tour complete so let's go let's uh, let's explore this uh, uh, beautiful uh, a ship uh, what I'll do is I'll try my best to see if I could speak to some of the, the specialists uh, on the ship Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah, morning. Welcome aboard. Yeah, morning. Welcome aboard. Ah, thank you. I'm just uh, doing some filming for Bristol oh, about yeah. yeah doing a tour of the boat. Oh, yeah. yeah, if you That's don't mind, do you want uh, to tell me a little bit about the history of the boat? If you want to. Um, yeah, yeah. Do you mind to be on cam? Yeah. Uh, right. So, uh, so I'm filming for a YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Ghana Fan Tube. So uh, today I made my plan to come to Bristol to explore this uh, magnificent. Uh, boat or ship. So please uh, tell my viewers a little bit about uh, this uh, beautiful uh, ship. Yeah, well, this uh, the ship was launched in 1843. Yeah. And um, when it was launched, it used to um, it was based in Liverpool. Yeah. And it used to travel in New York. Oh wow, New York. And it used to take 14 days, 14 day journey. Okay. To travel uh, from Liverpool to New York. So from uh, this port or the ports from Poisset? Which of the ports? Where? Uh, the, uh, the ship depart from? Is it? They used to depart from Liverpool. Okay, Liverpool, okay. Yes, yes. Right, and uh, it takes uh, 14 days to get to New York. Just, that's right, yes. Amazing, yes, yes. wow. Yes. And I believe it's the first uh, transport ship. Yep, it was the first ocean going iron ship. Yep. With a, um, with a screw propeller. Okay. First iron hold ship with a screw propeller. Oh, the, the red propeller, and, yeah? Uh, yes, nice. and balance rudder. Wow. That's amazing. So, guys, uh, 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 please, what's your name? Uh, Patrick. 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 My name is uh, Ed. Hi. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, so, guys, uh, that's it. Uh, this is uh, beautiful. So, if you make your mind to come here, yeah. please yeah. come to the top and uh, you'll probably see Patrick here. Pa Patrick will probably take you around. And uh, let me explore Late, more. Yeah, I was going to say, later, later on, it used to uh, travel from Australia. Australia? From Liverpool to okay. Melbourne. Okay. Uh, how long it takes? Um, it took 60 days. 60 days? Imagine being on a ship for 60 days. <laughs> oh my god! And, uh, I've been on a boat for two hours and it was something else. 60 days! Yes, yes. Wow! That's um, amazing. Of course, then the capacity of, of the, uh, the passenger capacity increased from about 252 yeah. to uh, around sort of 700. Wow! So when the ship, uh, when did the ship stop uh, uh, working? Um, it stopped carrying passengers in, in 1875. 1875. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And then it went. It, it was in in Birkenhead. Okay. Uh, where they transformed it into a cargo ship. A cargo ship to carry like loads of containers. Carry, it used to carry coal. Okay. And so it used to. Um, 
it travelled then from um, Liverpool um, around the, the coast of South America, yeah. Cape Horn, yeah. to San Francisco, okay. where it used to pick up uh, wheat. Ooh, wheat, prairies. yeah, yeah, wheat, yeah. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. And it made three, three, three of those journeys altogether between 1882 and 1886. Okay, just uh, three journeys yes. from San Francisco yes. to Liverpool. Yes. And then all the last one was caught up in a storm. Oh. Off, uh, off Cape Horn. Wow. And so it limped into Dock in the Falkland Islands. <laughs> So that was Patrick. Uh, I think my GoPro decided to uh, end on me. I have no idea. I think I have to just uh, be mindful of this GoPro because I was in a very important interview and the GoPro decided to uh, uh, end on me. I have no idea because 
uh, the lens was uh, uh, off so I have no idea whether it was recording or not uh, so I'm really sorry guys uh, but I believe uh, Patrick was able to uh, give you guys some details information about this beautiful uh, ship um, at the moment I'm just uh, at the, the back of the ship and uh, you can see a lot of uh, people uh, trying to get in and um, also if you look on the, uh, this side uh, that's where uh, you took the taxi boat to get uh, here and then that's the entrance uh, down there where you see people are queuing uh, that's the entrance and um, behind me uh, that's the full view of the ship uh, of this beautiful uh, ship and also Patrick was saying that uh, this ship uh, uh, sailed from Bristol to Australia and it also it took about 60 days uh, to get the passengers uh, to Australia so if you can uh, ship if you can sail for 60 days let me know in the comment uh, below so uh, that's it that's the the tour of uh, this uh, beautiful boat and um, what I'll do is um, uh, let me uh, turn the camera uh, so that you can see exactly where I am and Patrick was giving me uh, this beautiful uh, detailed tour but you know this GoPro uh, just uh, decided not to uh, record everything so I'm really I'm really gutted I have to come back here again uh, probably to get a full interview of uh, this specialist so until then another episode uh, just end like that don't forget to subscribe though thank you thank you that's it